So, for any of you that missed out on the Season 2 Hunt Pass, you can get the Saints Bond Armor in the store for Platinum if you want it, and also the Savant's Hood if you want that as well. And, if you do end up buying anything in the store, if you use my credit code Odo, I'd appreciate it. It just helps me out a ton. I get a small kickback on what you spend. And without further ado, UW, let's go ahead and start the video. The Saints Bond event has finally made its way back to Ramsgate, and with it there are seven new weapon transmogs that you can get from doing weapon contracts. And what that means is you can get free cosmetics for just playing the game and completing objectives. That is the very basic gist of how that works. And with this event there will also be a free flare for players and some other paid cosmetics in the store. But the main thing I'm concerned about are going to be the free cosmetics and how to get them very effectively. Mostly the weapons, because the flare is, you know, it's a flare. So Saint Spawn is an event that has a Valentine's theme. This event does go from the dates of Thursday, February 13th to Thursday of February 27th. This is important because you can get the contracts on any day between these dates, but if you do not complete them once it comes around to be, I think, February 28th or the end of February 27th, then the contracts go away. Last time, the contracts would persist until the end of a hunt pass, but that will not be the case for this event. Now to get started on doing your contracts, you have to actually accept them in the first place. You can do this with four different methods. The first one being visiting the Saints Bond themed city stall in Ramsgate, which will be to your left when you spawn in Ramsgate. The second is opening the in-game store from the menu and then clicking on the featured and then going to contracts section. This will give you a pretty much scroll down menu where you'll have the contracts on the right and then the paid version of the weapons on the left. Because by the way, if you do not want to actually do the contracts, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to, but if you don't have time or you just don't feel like doing it, you can actually buy them with platinum. I don't suggest this, but if you want to, hey, you're your own person, you got your own mom's credit card, it's all good. But if you do end up buying these, make sure to use credit code Odo because it supports me and I would love you for it. Uh, anywho, moving on, the third way is opening their in-game mailbox with a message that describes the event. You can click that and then once you do, you'll be, you'll be golden. You'll be uh, cooking with Crisco, as they say. And the last method is opening the page directly from a message of the day event. So I suggest going with the uh, old escape button on PC or the options button on a controller, going to the store and then finding it that way. That's how I'm going to do it, but you guys do whatever method you want. Because honestly, in this situation, it doesn't matter about the journey. It just matters about the destination. You know, accepting the contract is the important part to take home here. And once you get home, you'll see there are seven contracts in this event. And that's because there are only seven weapons in Dauntless. Now, once you've accepted the contract, you're not out of the woods yet. Because you still must accept the quest from the NPC that wants you to do the deeds and whatnot. So if you're doing the repeaters, get them get the quest from Zai, Janek Zai is the repeater nerd. And if you're doing the strikers, get the quest from the scared scarred master. And if you're doing any other weapon in the game, get a quest from Wills, the uh, the jacked weaponsmith. That dude, he's got weight gain 4000, bro. He's a beefcake. So get your quest from that guy and you'll be good. And then after doing all that, it is finally time to start working on completing your bounties. Wait, your contracts. There's so many words in this game at this point, I'm confused. To get started on your contracts, you can think about which weapon you want to actually get the weapon skin for first, and that can be a deciding factor, or you can just go, it doesn't really matter to me because I'll do all of them. In any case, understand that for each contract, you will need 60 behemoth kills with the weapon you're trying to get a skin for. So that might seem a little excessive because if you do the math on it, it is going to be 60 times 7 if you want every single weapon skin for free. And that's going to be 40, 420, right? Yeah, is that math? So the math checks out, and that number is still going to be pretty high for some folks. But there are some things you can do to make it a much easier task to complete. The first thing being do escalation 1 through 13. This is a very easy escalation, especially once you're geared. And you can kill the behemoths really easily with all kinds of different weapons. It doesn't really matter what you use. And it's just a pretty smooth experience. And there are exactly six behemoths in this escalation. So you're only going to need ten runs for the escalation for one contract. And that's, that's not that bad. And to make it even easier, if you're playing with at least one person on your friends list, then all the kills count as double. 
meaning you're only going to need 30 kills for each contract as long as you have one friend in your party. And by friend, I mean someone in your friends list. It doesn't have to be a real friend. You can just start inviting all kinds of random people except me. If I get any more friend requests, I'm literally going to ban you. And to be clear on how this bonus works, having one friend in your party makes behemoth kills count as double, right? Having two friends in your party still makes them count as double. Having three friends in your party still makes it count as double. All this means is for all you overachievers out there trying to make all the friends in the world, get bodied, because you only need one. And yeah, so doing those two things, doing Escalation 1 through 13 and having at least one friend in your party means that you'll complete these contracts exceptionally fast. And if you want to, you can always do Escalation 10 to 50. It's up to you. You know, it's you can do whatever you want. You can do patrols, pursuits, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying that Escalation 1 through 13 is really fast and efficient. So it's what I suggest doing for this kind of thing and even mastery and whatnot. As far as builds go, if you're just doing Escalation 1 through 13, you don't need anything that crazy to do this game mode. So just try and get a decent amount of overpower and maybe Rage Hunter and just things of that nature to help you do the content and do some damage while you're at it. And to help you with that, I have some builds, templates sort of thing. You can use whatever weapon you want in the build and just change some other cells around to what you have. So the thing I always recommend is going to be Jurassic Helmet, Jurassic Chest Piece, Nash your Gloves, and Nash your Feet if you're a newer player because it has a ton of power slots and you can fit a bunch of random cells in there that aren't that strong. If you find yourself having a ton of purple cells, then, you know, work on a different set. And if you want Iceborne, then for that, you're just going to have Hellion Headpiece, Boreas Chest, Gloves, and Feet. And that will give you a pretty solid set. You can do whatever you want with but the main thing there is you'll have Iceborne, plus six, or whatever you can really get it to. And you also have some other choices for other cells and stuff of that nature. And if you happen to want some other builds, then I have a bunch of different things on my YouTube channel. Just go to my Escalations playlist and go to the description or watch the video. And there are builds for all the different weapons in there. If you want some more advanced stuff, if you want to do Escalation 10 through 50, then that playlist will have pretty much everything you really need to give you ideas on stuff you can build for. So that should cover most of your bases, right? You got the contracts explained for the most part, and you also have some build ideas and places to get builds to help you do the content efficiently. Now, once you do everything you need to do and you actually complete the contracts, find the person you got the quest from, which will be a purple, uh, purple question mark, which will tell you where to turn the quest in. And if you have everything complete, you can turn the quest and get your weapon skin and just be at the true pinnacle of endgame, which is fashion. That's that's the endgame. And once you're there, it's pretty cool. It's pretty uh, pretty gravy. Now, the last thing I want to talk about real quick is going to be the flare. So if you guys don't know, there is also a free flare, and free stuff is always great. So to get this free flare, all you got to do is redeem it by going to the store featured events tab. So open the store on PC, it's escape, on consoles, it's options on Switch. I actually don't know any buttons on the Switch. That is going to be a nightmare to make videos for weapons in the future. It's like, hey guys, here are the four different layouts. It's going to be a real great time. But anyway, the other way to get the flare is going to be from going to your mailbox and accepting it that way. If you don't end up getting the message, then just go to the store and the events tab and, you know, you'll be golden. But that is the Saints Bond event. And that, and honestly, I'm, I'm okay with this, right? Like, I am super happy. I really am that players can earn cool cosmetics for free. Because I actually like these cosmetics a lot, honestly. I think out of the pretty like pretty decent amount of like, hunt passes we've gotten in the past, these weapon skins are some of my favorite. They just are. Like They just look pretty cool. They look different as well. And they're not super bulky. I'm not, I'm not playing with Laffy Taffy or Roblox weapons. That is dope to me. I'm super stoked to have this. And it to me, it... Like I said, man, it always paves way for the future of what, what they can do with events to make it even cooler. Because having the option to buy the skins and having the option to earn them, that's perfect for me. Like, I like that combination, right? Because people that don't have the time to play the game, that's fine. You can buy the, the weapon skins. There are bundles for it, by the way. If you want to get all the weapon skins and you don't have time to play at all, you can buy all the skins for about 4,200 plat, brother, which is a ton of money. And the way that bundle works is you'll be buying seven weapon skins for the price of six. So you're saving on one weapon skin. 
or you can just, you know, earn them all if you have the time. If you don't, you can buy the weapon skins you want to buy individually. It is completely up to you. And just to make sure that I cover this as well, like one more time, if you guys didn't get the cosmetic armor uh, that was in the hunt pass, I think it was like the second hunt pass ever, which a lot of y'all couldn't get because you're on either consoles or you're on the Switch. But that is also in the store if you want it. But that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. Hopefully you liked it. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button and perhaps subscribe. And also, make sure you use creator code ODO in the Epic Games Store or in the in-game adult store. Because doing so supports a young Douglas near you with the money you spend. Like a small kickback helps me out a ton. And seriously, I appreciate the ever-living heck out of y'all for doing that. It, it really does go a long way. And thank you very much. If you guys can't do that, then just watching the video and being here helps out a ton on its own for free. So thank you all very much for doing that. And thanks again for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.